2008, produced by J.J. Abrams, on screenplay written by Drew Goddard and distributed by Paramount Pictures was the film of Cloverfield. The film was a found footage formatted point of view from a personal comm corridor discovered by the United States Department of Defense in the region formerly known as Central Park within New York City. Depicted in the film was the monster who had destroyed the city, known only as Cloverfield Oz, that was the title given to it by the United States military. The monster at the time was very mysterious, due in part to the uh, advertisement campaign that J.J. Abrams had initiated in order to prepare hype on audience and to for the film. The whole sense of the film as to what the Cloverfield monster was had an enormous amount of mystery behind it. It was something that no one within New York City could escape from. It was something that the United States military couldn't stop or kill. It was something that no one knew what exactly it was. And more importantly, it was something that no one knew where had it come from. The whole fear aspect of not knowing what the monster was, or someone watching the footage, you essentially knew as much as the characters did in the film which was nearly nothing. The uncertainty of the situation made the horror, fear and suspense more intense to experience. Originally there was a theory that when the characters were on the bridge, through the chaos of the situation they see another group recording what was happening as well. Some online speculations had a thought a sequel to the film at the time could have been another point of view, but from another angle with different characters. Some discussions had pointed out details that a sequel shouldn't be directly made, because people whom had enjoyed the film liked the fact that the monster was mysterious as a character as you don't need to know what it is to be afraid of it. Not knowing what the Cloverfield monster was depicted in the film was theoretically more frightening than knowing what it is. It was also mentioned at the time the film was supposed to be just that of a single feature not a franchise, as it was later turned into. All the mystery of the Cloverfield monster was to be left intentionally unresolved. Doubts as to the details of the story, for those who wanted more clarification to the story as to what Cloverfield was, was first mentioned in 2011. Well, due to the circumstances of the proposed sequel, that it not be made or not be made as originally intended, or even further different from what audiences now imagined the card of Clover to be, with the expansion of the Cloverfield franchise, adding to the Cloverfield universe, finally taking away from the original film. Mentioned in the film was the party that everyone was celebrating with one of the characters being sent abroad for a period of time to work in Japan. This detail was connected to the fictional Japanese company Tagruto, as in the final scene of the film showed something falling into the ocean from the sky in the background of the scene. According to information now known, during the Azuridismian campaign that J.J. Abrams had helped market, Cloverfield was an ancient sea creature awakened through offshore drilling by the Japanese company. The substance extracted through the drilling was called quote-unquote seabed nectar, which would have become the secret ingredient in a Japanese drink called slusho. This point of view was from the Japanese manga Cloverfield Kishin, published by Kadokawa Shoten. But the manga didn't get as much international exposure as the advertisement campaign or even the actual film. So the slusho point of view, as mentioned, isn't exactly known by some viewers of the film. From the advertisements, there is media showing the creature attacking the offshore platform on through events, have it traveling to New York City where it emerged. Confused with all that had happened to it, it destroyed regions of the city. However, in later versions of Cloverfield Media on the additional expansions to the Cloverfield franchise, the creature is turned into some sort of alien interdimensional creature. As to what it is was never definitively answered at the time. In 2016, 10 Cloverfield Lane was released, but the developers 
of the original film were credited as executive producers and not having the same amount of influence that they did with the 2008 film. A period of 10 years after the original Cloverfield was released in 2018, The Cloverfield Paradox was released on the streaming Netflix service, as the story, much like Cloverfield Lane, wasn't a true sequel to the original film. It's been discussed from internet speculations on the original mystery of the film that even if a sequel is made, some fans of the film wouldn't want an explanation of the film as mentioned, and would rather have it mysterious. Because if the character of the Cloverfield monster is explained, it wouldn't be so in its original intentions of what people wanted it to have been. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because the mystery surrounding the character was never supposed to be explained.